Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. So given the rectangular pulse which has a value a in the interval from 0 to t, and the rest of the values of the function x of t is 0. So this is a rectangular pulse. Now we want to find the Fourier transform of this signal. So now let us look at the solution. So by definition, the Fourier transform x of omega is given as integral minus infinity to plus infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt. So that is the Fourier transform integral. Now by applying the definition of x of t, that is the rectangular pulse for this function, we get the following definition. x of omega, that is the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse is integral integral 0 to t because x of t is non-zero only in this interval and the value is a e power minus j omega t dt. Now we can easily evaluate this integral as follows. x of omega is going to be equal to a multiplied by the integration of e power minus j omega t dt. So it is e power minus j omega t upon minus j omega and the limits are 0 to capital T. That is T is the length of the rectangular pulse. Now upon substitution, upon substitution of these values, we get the following expression. That is A times 1 minus e power minus j omega t divided by j omega. So we traded this minus with the minus because of this difference. So we have 1 minus e power minus j omega t by j omega. By taking the term e power minus j omega t by 2 common in both 1 and this expression e power minus j omega t, we get x of omega is equal to a times e power minus j omega t by 2. This t, uh, extracting this term out from this difference, we will get we have e power j omega t by 2 minus e power minus j omega t by 2. And in the denominator, we have j omega. Next by multiplying with 2 and dividing with 2, we can see the definition of sin omega t by 2 in this uh, ratio. Therefore, x of omega is going to be equal to 2a t, that is we multiply and divide with t. So, we have a t here and then we have e power minus j omega t by 2 and then we have this e power j omega t by 2 minus e power minus j omega t by 2 by 2j is sine of omega t by 2 and then in the denominator we have omega t. Therefore, x of omega that is the Fourier transform of the rectangular pulse is given by a is given by a times t e power minus j omega t by 2 and then sink of omega t by 2. So, that is the Fourier transform. Now, let us look at the magnitude spectrum and the phase spectrum of this Fourier transform. We will use MATLAB for this purpose. So, we define a vector omega or w from minus pi to plus pi. So, we have the uh, omega axis and now we can compute the uh, function is a Fourier transform as x of omega is equal to exponential of minus j omega by 2 where we assume t is equal to 1 and sink of omega by 2. We also assume that a and t are both a and t are both equal to 1. So, in this case we have the Fourier transform x of omega. Hmm? We can look at the plots. This one is the magnitude spectrum. That is, uh, it is from minus pi to plus pi, and it has uh, two uh, zeros, or it has it has two zeros at minus uh, approximately minus two and plus two. Or uh, the phase spectrum. We can also look at the phase spectrum. So the phase spectrum looks like this, which is basically like minus pi, minus omega by two. Uh, for, in the, from, uh, for the interval from minus pi to this minus 2 and from there it will be like minus omega by 2 and from 2 to pi it will be pi minus omega by 2. Here it is minus pi minus omega by 2, here it is minus omega by 2 and here it is pi minus omega by 2. So that is the phase spectrum, that is the phase spectrum. The, so to summarize we have looked at the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. So the Fourier transform is, uh, the rectangular pulse is defined as uh, value a for the interval 0 to t, that is time is from 0 to t, 
the value is a otherwise it is zero so the Fourier transform is given by the definition integral minus infinity to plus infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt and by applying the definition of x of t we have x of omega is equal to integral zero to t a e power minus j omega t dt upon evaluation of this integral we can see that x of omega is equal to a t e power minus j omega t by 2 sink of omega t by 2 so the magnitude will be basically following a sink function and the phase spectrum or the phase of the Fourier transform depends on minus omega t by 2 and the sign of the sink function so we have looked at the MATLAB plots for both the for both magnitude spectrum that is the spectrum looks like a sink function and then we also looked at the angle spectrum or the phase spectrum so the phase spectrum looks like this that is it is minus pi minus omega by 2 up to minus 2 and minus omega by 2 uh, between minus 2 and plus 2 and from there it is pi minus omega by 2 and the, as, as the value of t changes shape of the phase spectrum also changes and so does the absolute uh, magnitude spectrum thanks for watching